It's a very stable Roma lineup. Gabriel Batistuta shrugs off his injury doubts and is hoping to add to his 10 goals so far this season. Cafu returns to his right wing back role after suspension. Fellow Brazilian Aldair is rumoured to be less than fit, but starts nonetheless. The rest for Roma are tried and trusted men of coach Fabio Capello. Well, as you can imagine, the San Siro is almost filled to capacity for the visit of the current league leaders. And Alberto Zaccaroni has dismantled the team beaten by Fiorentina a week ago. Demetrio Albertini returns from injury into the midfield. Jose Mari starts an attack instead of Bierhoff, while three Brazilians, Serginho, Rocco Jr. and Leonardo, all get a chance to show their worth from the start. All top-class individuals, what difference will it make to the team? Well, we shall see. Well, it's a crucial game for Milan. The title ambitions very much on the line here as the teams make their way onto the park. Last week, Roma were held to a 1-1 draw at home by Bari, by far their worst result of an incredible season so far, which has seen them with 10 wins, just three draws and one defeat. And Milan, as we all know, were trounced 4-0 at Fiorentina, turning up the heat on Alberto Zaccaroni. Fabio Capello has built a great side over the last two or three years, slowly piecing together a championship, a potential championship winning team. Francesco Totti, very much their main man, just behind the two strikers, and a job perhaps this evening for Demetrio Albertini to try and nullify the effect of the Italian international. The referee is from Verona, Mr. Rossetti, about to get the game underway. Well, certainly Milan's domestic title ambitions on the line here tonight. They trail Roma by 13 points. Probably anything less than a victory here will signal the end of their challenge. And there's Serginho down in the area, right in the first few seconds. crowd went up but the referee stayed quite calm it's a nervous couple of minutes for the referees as well so a totally reshuffled lineup for Alberto Zaccaroni as he tries to find a mix that can do well on the domestic scene and started well in the Champions League and that's a great ball over the top and better students offside Well, as well as a clash between two major Italian clubs here this evening. It's also a contest between the two leading marksmen in the country. Andrei Shevchenko of Milan, 11 goals so far at this season. Gabriel Batistuta on 10. Shevchenko with three penalties in amongst his haul. This is a nice place from Milan just bundled to the ground there Jose Mari Serginho well forward in support well Dimitro Albertini might step up to the four here Leonardo the Brazilian with an eye for the ball as well so Lupatelli in goal for Roma, calling for at least four in the wall. Perhaps an extra man to be added, about 20 metres out the free kick, so well within the range of many of the players in Milan's lineup. Leonardo over the ball. And over the wall. Oh, that is a brilliant goal! Well, Zaccaroni keeps calm, but the stadium erupts. Well, Leonardo looked focused the whole time. He was waiting patiently to take that free kick. He knew exactly what he was intending to do. And Lupatelli 
on the opposite side of the goal. Just too much ground to make up. The wall in front of him blocking his vision somewhat. But was there any stopping that free kick anyway? That was absolutely superb. And the perfect start for the home side here. Well, the referee will stop the play, surely, with the flare on the pitch. So, just three minutes into the game, and the league leaders find themselves a goal down. Leonardo, a player who's had his problems here at Milan at one stage, he requested that he would be placed on the transfer list. He wasn't getting a game, he was in competition really with Zvonimir Boban for that role just behind the two strikers. He hasn't had much of a run in the team so far this season and that may change now, but Cafu is working his way forward for Roma! And Batistuta just over the bar. He acknowledges the quality of the pass as well as we re-look re at the quality of the free kick from Leonardo. Well, a very lively start here at the San Siro. Milan coming into this game with just two points out of their last 12. Very much needing a lift. down the line, no one there for Milan, chasing. Long clearance from Aldair, Candela. Aldair again. No one particularly interested in chasing that one, though Batistuta does go towards the goalkeeper. It's not a great clearance by Abiati. Maldini told Costa Curta to go back to the goalkeeper. Instead, he got the ball. And that was just a high foot there from Aldair and Leonardo. Well, two draws last season when these two sides met each other. 1-1 one, one and 2-2. Two, two. Well, there was an incredible run of results between 1988 and 1997 when there was not one single Roma victory. Seventy-seven for Milan is Francesco Coco. Play goes on. The referee thought about blowing. That's a brilliant touch off here for Del Vecchio. Battistuta just peeling away to the left hand side. Rocco Jr. over to close him down. Oh, that's a great bit of skill here. Battistuta! Well, he doesn't need too much of a sight on goal, Gabriel Battistuta. And there was a clear shooting opportunity. Costa Curta closed him down and got a touch on the ball. Take it quickly, Totti playing it across. There's Totti again, brought to ground. That's a free kick to Roma. Well, Francesco Totti, very much the man who makes Roma tick in midfield. Costa Curta is saying that uh, his challenge was perfectly legal as we See the free kick come in, Abiati just punching it away, only as far as Kafu as Milan push out. That's Zago. It's an awkward cross to the back post, just not trickling out, and Totti managed to keep that in, did he? He did. Play going on, now the ball's gone out. Just a change of footwear for Tomasi. Players struggling with their boots at the moment. 
but Milan not struggling at all with the scoreline after 20 minutes. One goal to nil. Zanetti forced to give the ball away. Rocco Jr. takes over for Milan. He too gives it away. Here's Tomasi in midfield. Well, Milan currently sitting in sixth place in Serie A, so very much in touch with the leading pack of teams behind Roma. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Shevchenko is onside. This is 2-0 to Milan. Well, Zaccaroni can't believe it after recent weeks. But today, his team very much looks the part. Well, the run from Shevchenko was superb. He's super quick, and the little flick ball through the centre. And he had the presence of mind to know where the goalkeeper was. He just rounded Lupatelli, made it look very easy in the end. And that's goal number 12 for Andre Shevchenko. A little bit of relief for him personally as well because goals haven't been flowing frequently lately. And you see there he is well on side. Zago was at least three metres deeper than the rest of the defence. And that was a costly error. And Milan are two goals to the good and looking for more. Jose Mari. There's Shevchenko letting it run. Serginho. Well, a great battle on the near touchline between the two Brazilians, Cafu and Serginho. Long ball. This time Shevchenko is offside. Well, this was the goal. You see Zago just dropping off in the centre of the screen there. And that gave Shevchenko way too much room and all the appeals for offside were quite futile. He doesn't miss too many of those, Andre Shevchenko. He scored 24 goals in his first season in Serie A, which is a great return as we see Totti fire well over the bar. It's the story of the half so far for Roma. Well, just one defeat so far this season for Fabio Capello's men. And that was here in this stadium in the San Siro when they were beaten by Inter Milan. It's a rare bright light in Inter's season. Tomasi wins the ball in the air. of time on the ball this time he looks long for Batistuta he's chasing hard well he fouled Costa Curta there when he had little need to really Costa Curta has only ever played for one club in his entire career Tomasi just lost out to a recovering Serginho in midfield. Now Milan come away. Ambrosini, that's a fine pass. Shevchenko's going through the centre. Picks it up now. There's players running forward all over the place for Milan. Roma stretched to the max. That's a great pass. Oh, super save. Still more to come. He's missed it. Well, Lupatelli in goal for Roma has kept his side in the match with one stunning save in that move. And the amount of movement from the Milan players then had Roma absolutely lost. To 
Stuta on the volley. Well, not too far away from goal number 11 of the season for Gabriel Batistuta. But the earlier move by Milan was quite superb. This is a fantastic save here by Lupatelli. Just one hand kept out Serginho. He managed to just slip the pass back to Andrei Shevchenko. And that is a very uncharacteristic miss by the Ukrainian international. So Alberto Zaccaroni, the Milan coach, breathing a little easier with his side 2-0 ahead against Roma. Suspected a heavy defeat here today. Could signal the end to his career, but it's a, a game in which two or three good results on the trot can turn you from villain to hero. Just ask Fatih Terim at Fiorentina. Kafu feeding Tomasi. Zanetti. That's a great pass. Here's Batistuta. Well, he scuffed his shot somewhat there. And like Shevchenko a few moments earlier, a somewhat uncharacteristic attempt at goal. It was a toe poke in the end. It just got lost underneath his feet there. Gabriel Batistuta. Capello starting to spend more and more time on his feet rather than on the bench. Oh, that's a mistake. Well recovered though by Aldair. He's lost out again this time though. Jose Mari. That's an early ball. It's a good ball as well. Just couldn't quite keep it in though. Leonardo getting forward from midfield. We've seen that so often today. Flags up for offside. Oliver Bierhoff, the German international who's not in Milan's side today, has said during the week that all the talk of a new trainer is a pretty big distraction for the players. It's not easy for them to stay calm and stay focused on the job of just playing football. Uncertainty is not a good base to build a team. Delar takes over for Roma. The ball's still in. Candelar still going. That's a good run by the Frenchman. He's back to Stuta helping it on. And the shot comes in. Deflected. It's gone in. And it's Francesco Totti. With some assistance on the way, I'd suggest by one of the Milan defenders. But fine move by Roma, started by Candelar down the left and just came off the arm there of Maldini, right in the corner. Well, no chance for Christian Abiati. He was wrong-footed, as you can see, and was forced to just fall back on his heels and watch the ball go in. So Totti throws... Roma, a lifeline just before half-time. It's Milan 2, Roma 1. It's a rare attack as well by the visitors here. And they fancy another one as Carfu plays it inside. Continuing down the right, it's a great run from the back by Zago into the area. Zago! Well, that would have been one to treasure from Zago doesn't get over the halfway line too often but he timed his run to perfection there and all of a sudden Roma are well and truly back in the match
Rocco Jr. with the throw in the final few moments of the first half and it's been a terrific match so far. Both sides very committed to attacking as we're seeing here with Leonardo to Serginho. Still Serginho across the goal! A goal it is to Shevchenko. Well, the two-goal lead is re-established with another one from Shevchenko. Well, everybody gets a hug and a kiss. But it was Serginho who made it. Just dribbled across the goal, no one at the near post. And Shevchenko too quick for Candelara at the back post. And a goal very much in keeping with the predatory instincts of Andrei Shevchenko. And just when Roma thought that they were going to go in at half-time with just trailing by a goal. Andrei Shevchenko makes sure that that's not the case. Moving to time added on, there's just a one minute to play. Batistuta just wouldn't come down for him now. Milan on the break with Leonardo. Zago again creeping forward to join in. Batistuta. Well, Costa Curta with a tackle from behind there, and that hurt the. Argentine international, he's not happy about it either, he doesn't get upset too often, Gabriel Batistuta, and you can just see there the tackle on the back of the ankle there. So this will be the, the last kick of the half, without a doubt. It has to be a good one from Totti. Straight a goal, and wide. And that's half-time here at the San Siro. A riveting first 45 minutes. Francesco Totti got Roma back in the game when they were two down with a deflected goal. But they will all be talking at the break about the free kick by Leonardo after just three minutes for Milan, which really set the tone of the performance. It's probably one of their best halves of football the entire season for Alberto Zaccaroni's men, and I'm sure he's happy that Andrei Shevchenko's back on the score sheet. Two for him, but at the break, it's Milan 3, Roma 1. Welcome back to the San Siro for the start of the second half here. No changes by either trainer at the half-time break. One particular milestone or achievement in the first half was the goal by Francesco Totti. He's never scored at the San Siro. They made quite a big deal of it before the game. But a player like he who's scored some marvellous goals has never managed one here at the San Siro. He has now. And he's involved in the action early in the second half as well. There's a free kick is taken quickly by Aldair. Roma were hoping to give their own Brazilian Emerson a much anticipated debut here at the San Siro. That's been put on hold. The Slippery, icy conditions that have been here during the week just made the coaching staff hesitate a bit about risking him after so long with an injury. Plenty of other Brazilians on show, though, like Serginho. And what a fine game he's had, making the most of his opportunity in the starting 11. And certainly, by comparison to last week at Fiorentina, Milan look a totally different team.
Oh, it's a mistake. Letting in Shevchenko. A little ball inside with Serginho. Was it a handball? Well, not given. Zago, I'm sure, got away with something there. The play goes on. That's a foul. And uh, quite a bad one as well on Jose Mari. It's got to be a yellow card. That's the look on the face from the referee. So Zago, who was lucky not to concede a penalty just a few seconds earlier. Well, that was pretty late, wasn't it? A little clumsy there by the big Brazilian defender. Milan hoping to make them pay the price with Leonardo over the ball. He's got that look on his face again, like he had when he scored the free kick. Total concentration. Whipped into the near post! Well, I'm sure Jose Mari got a touch on that, but he just deflected it past the far post. It was so hard for the defenders to stop that one. May have been a faint touch there by Jose Mari. Lupatelli was really just diving without really knowing where the ball was going to go. Maldini. And touch on from Leonardo. Serginho stretching out a leg, taking it on the volley. Well, he's been impressive down the left-hand side for Milan this evening. And this is the earlier handball incident with Zago and Serginho was so convinced that he just stopped there and appealed and I'm sure you could see that he was absolutely right. The layoff by Marco Del Vecchio who's been on the outskirts of the match for the entire 50 odd minutes that we've had so far. It's a test of the character of the champions elect, Roma. Batistuta, hopeful of a pot of goal perhaps. Only if Roma players over the ball. Batistuta is one who's just ordering a few players about. Abiati. Watching closely, it's a long way out, 30 metres to beat a goalkeeper like Abiati. And the shot comes in, and it is past that far post. Better Stuta. A little puff of the cheeks from him. It's a corner to Roma. Kapu goes over to take it quickly. Kendela. Shot comes in. Well, a pretty good effort there from Vincent Candela. He scored twice this season. Really renowned as a goal scoring midfielder. More of a provider of goals. This is a shot from Batistuta. Went through the wall and just took a deflection on the way through. to Stuter offside. Uh, Roma very much trying a direct route to goal. Straight up the centre with Batistuta. Now Milan charging through the centre with Leonardo. Maldini first to the ball. Now charge down as well. Leonardo, great ball, Shevchenko for the hat-trick! Well, it's a couple that he's missed tonight that he would normally expect to see absolutely buried in the back of the net. I'm sure he's not complaining, mind you. He's got two so far. It was Arty. What was he thinking of there? Just let the ball go. Milan get away with it. But here come Roma again with Candela. Too many players in forward positions, though. 
And Totti loses out to Rocco Jr. Shevchenko sneaks past Zago. Serginho, still going Serginho, with the cross to the back post. Taken right off the head of Leonardo by Candela. But another move by Milan, which was eye-catching to say the very least. And Serginho once again involved. Well, have Milan turned the corner in Serie A? That's the question. As the corner comes in. They've been walking on a bit of a tightrope of late with Zaccaroni clinging on to his job. And if this result stays the same, I'm sure Zaccaroni would be sleeping a little easier. And they very much looked apart tonight, AC Milan. change will take place and it's a common substitution that we've seen from Fabio Capello Vincenzo Montella coming on for Marco Del Vecchio scored three goals so far this season Montella I don't think he started a game yet and Boban is coming on for Leonardo Oh, he's played well tonight as well, the Brazilian Leonardo. 31 years of age now. Much travelled. So just on... 20 minutes remaining in the San Siro, Milan 3, Roma 1. A result that if it stays the same, the rest of the chasing pack will be eternally grateful to Milan. Oh, that's a brilliant bit of control by Batistuta. Grateful to Milan for just stopping the runaway train that has been Roma so far in this competition. Yellow card to Rocco Jr. He came up with another a deflected goal. That's a good hit. Tremendous save that from Abiati. And Rocco Jr. beats Samuel in the corner. There's still time for something from Roma, so Milan can't afford to relax at the back. Zanetti forward. Now Shevchenko appealed and got the free kick there for a handball. As we take another look at the free kick, that was a great curling shot by Batistuta, in fact. Eviati with a tremendous save. Top teachers. Rushed his pass somewhat and gave it straight to Maldini. <laughs> and a foul there on Francesco Totti, somewhat fortunate, I'd say. And Roma needs something from somewhere. Got the second best attack in the competition with 26 goals. I haven't had too many opportunities in front of goal tonight so far. Zago. Cafu. Zanetti. Totti. Still running forward, Cafu. 
In fact, it was Montella with the final shot on goal. Well, couldn't quite get his foot around the ball, and there was a defender there in Maldini who was watching him pretty closely anyway. So just on five minutes remaining at the San Siro now. Surely Milan can't let it go from here. Oh, a difficult one for Rocco Jr. Batistuta won't be giving up just yet. And there's a chance for Totti. Good save, Abiati. Batistuta closing in. Now, what's the decision? It's a penalty for the foul on Batistuta. Well, Totti immediately grabs the ball. So there is still a faint chance of a Roma revival, but they must get this to be in with the show. Well, that's the challenge there on Batistuta from Rocco Junior, and I think the referee got it right. No contact on the ball from the Brazilian defender, but certainly contact on the player. And Totti now against Abiati, who's been in quite brilliant form and goal for Milan. Oh, he got a hand to it as well, but that's a goal to Roma. And a second goal at the San Siro for Totti. Be confused with the signal from Capello. He's not saying that there's 10 minutes left because there's far less than that. Aviati shuffled, went the right way, did everything right. Just the ball snuck underneath his arm. The three minutes left. Shevchenko's onside, but he won't get there. for Zaccaroni in his final couple of minutes. Another Milan goal would soon sort that out. Shevchenko inside. Coco. Simple take for Lupitelli. As you can see, we're into the time added on at the end of 90 minutes. There's many a goal scored in this period of the game, but just two minutes left here at the San Siro. Candela. Batistuta still going, he's been brought down right on the edge of the area. But the foul not given. Well, there was some contact on the ball there by Maldini. In fact, it's Costa Curta. But there was also some contact on the player. And that would have had the Milan Hearts a flutter in the final minute or so if it's a free kick with Batistuta lining it up on the edge of the area it's not the case though and that's a foul against Batistuta so just on three quarters of a minute left in the game Milan Intent on keeping possession and certainly keeping the ball in Roma's half of the ground. 33 is Ibrahim Barr, the French international striker. And Shevchenko does well to get some space for himself, but the ball hasn't gone out. It's a handball, in fact, 
against Kendala. Whistle will be going any second now. And there it is. Milan have beaten the league leaders Roma on a memorable night in the San Siro. And many here are hoping that finally the corner has been turned in the Serie A competition for the great club. They were outstanding tonight against the best team in the competition so far this season. Andre Shevchenko with two goals to his name very much important for Milan in the future that he is in top form and an early goal for Leonardo set the tone for the game but Roma with two goals from Totti stood up and fought all the way to the final minutes of the match